Hello and welcome back to the channel. So one thing I think about quite often is the fact that our existence is just absurd. Everything about life makes no sense at all. And you know, the longer I think about it, the more I feel like I need to stop thinking about it or I will lose my mind at some point. And I know that I'm not the only person thinking about the big questions, the universe, life itself, consciousness itself, and you know, why we are here and what we're doing here. But I would say that 95% of the population won't even spend a second of their day thinking about the big questions. You know, they are so locked in in their little box. They're doing the same thing every day. <sighs> like, where are you right now? Where am I right now? I'm here in this apartment. Yes, I'm here in Austria. Okay. But what does that even mean? What is an apartment? Or what is Austria even? It's just a piece of land on a planet. So we are actually on a big ass rock flying through space and we're just a tiny little dot in the big Milky Way galaxy, which itself is also just a tiny little dot, <laughs> you know, among other galaxies. And our planet, our Earth could just disappear from one day to another and nobody would even notice. The universe wouldn't care. The Milky Way galaxy wouldn't care. And even if our galaxy disappeared, same thing. Nobody cares. I think that we humans, we tend to take ourselves way too serious and you know, we always think that we are so important and everything revolves around us. We are the center of everything. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Actually, we're just a tiny little part of a much bigger thing. And I'm not even sure if our existence and our brain, our consciousness, was just a mistake, something that should not have happened, or if it's something that happens all the time and, you know, things just develop consciousness naturally on their own, everywhere in the universe. That's actually a beautiful thought and that's probably the more likely thing that we are not the only conscious thing in this universe but still we don't know and maybe we will never know um let me take a sip of my coffee before it gets cold <laughs> it's probably cold already so <clears throat> yeah we always tend to take ourselves very seriously. Um, we always think that the humans, the human race is just, you know, above everything else. Um, I mean, even then the Bible, I think it says that God created us in his image. Obviously that's bullshit because we just created God in our image because we feel like gods we made god look like ourselves you know god and jesus and all those holy people they are humans because there couldn't be anything more godly than a human being we are the center of everything and for years we thought that you know we were the center of our solar system and you know people then found out that that's not true and you know they they paid with their blood for this discovery because, you know, the church and all the 
the holy Jesus loving people um, they did not want to hear that and you know they oftentimes killed people with different opinions so yeah it was very dangerous back then to be a sane person and to you know stand up for the truth but eventually you know they gave in and they accepted it and they said like okay yeah we are not the center <clears throat> the sun is actually the center but you know our sun is just a tiny little dot we are just a tiny little part of our galaxy and so we are not even the center of our galaxy either and our galaxy is not the center of anything so we are literally a tiny dot in a vast big nothingness or maybe <laughs> maybe it's actually the opposite of nothingness it's everythingness <laughs> uh, yeah um, yeah that's that's just how it is I mean the universe is infinitely big and you know we can only we can only observe the observable universe obviously that's why it's called the observable universe because everything that is further away from us is just too far away to see because the light of a star or whatever could not reach us anymore because you know light travels at the speed of light at around 300,000 kilometers per second so pretty fast but you know at some point if the distance is long enough um, the light would not reach us anymore so we don't even know how big the universe actually is um, maybe it's just slightly bigger than the observable universe but maybe it's a million times bigger and another very popular theory is that the universe is infinite and yeah I mean our mind is just not able to understand that we cannot comprehend infinity that's just too much for us and it is too much for me but I still like to I still try to imagine it and I think about it a lot even though I could never really understand it and you know <laughs> another crazy thing is that the universe is expanding so that makes no sense like what if we are a tiny part of a infinite universe it is infinitely big and at the same time expanding like it is expanding into what like what is what is outside of our universe and if it's infinite then what is outside of infinity that makes absolutely zero sense and it's so weird and you know whenever I think about these things I feel like why is not everybody talking about that why are not all the people on earth thinking about these things and discussing it and you know that's just I mean isn't that the most interesting thing ever like our whole existence in our universe but you know as an adult person I came to realize that people just don't care like they don't care about the universe they don't care about anything all they care about is their stupid little problems here on earth and you know their stupid little workplace and their office and their co-workers and I don't know <clears throat> the thing is I just cannot hold a normal conversation with a normal person anymore because I feel like I am in such a different state of mind like I cannot talk about trivial things anymore I hate talking about stupid 
nonsensical, irrelevant bullshit. I just cannot make small talk with people that I don't like and many people think I'm weird and in fact they're probably right but you know I just don't understand how people cannot be interested in the most interesting and the most fascinating questions ever but they are so interested in tiny trivial things that don't even matter and I don't get it and that's like one of the reasons why I don't really like talking to people and why I don't really like people in general damn <laughs> the sun is really the sun is reflecting on our wooden floor and it is so bright I think I have to close the blinds but then it would probably be really bad lighting in here um, <laughs> so what should I do? should I wait for a cloud to cover up the sun? but you know that's what I'm talking about you know this is the star that keeps all of us alive the thing that's reflecting here on my floor it's the sun it's one of billion other stars and at some point it won't shine anymore at some point it will die just like everything else in the universe and then what? maybe another universe gets created or maybe these other universes already exist you know that's where the multiverse theory comes into play you know there are just so many big questions and so much to think about and you know it's actually you know it's actually kind of exciting and really cool and I don't get why people don't want to think about it <laughs> all right I'll just <laughs> I'll just block this, the sun with my hand and wait for a cloud to, you know, fly by. Or maybe I... Oh, I have an idea. I put a blanket on the floor right there. And that should do the trick. Okay, I think it kind of worked. So, yeah. You know, back then, back in the days, people didn't, didn't know. <clears throat> people have always thought about the big questions. You know, ever since the first human appeared on this planet. You know, that's just, that's part of our nature. That's, you know, that's just what it's like having a brain, so we are made to think about things so yeah but nowadays we live in times where science is so advanced that you know we we found out so many new things that you know completely change the way we view things like <laughs> my dog sleeping on the couch as always so if you hear some snoring um, you know we found out that everything is made out of atoms you know I am made out of atoms this chair is made out of atoms and this coffee mug as well but still we are different you know, this mug is not conscious. At least, I don't think so. <laughs> and if it is, then I'm sorry. <laughs> that must be a horrible existence. But, you know, um, <laughs> it's probably not. So the question then is, if everything is made out of the same, you know, building blocks, 
where does life and consciousness, you know, um, appear and how does that, you know, get into this block of atoms? And this is just a very simplified way to view it, but technically speaking, everything is made of the same building blocks. They are a little bit different here and there, but, you know, basically everything is made out of the same material. And that is crazy. That's just insane if you think about it. The universe created stars and planets and you know there are these stars that explode and die and you know ad atoms are flying around and you know eventually these atoms create a person me right now i'm made out of a lot of atoms and when i die my atoms will go back into into the world like it doesn't matter <clears throat> like you know it doesn't matter if my body gets burned or if i get eaten by worms <laughs> somehow the atoms will leave my body and get redistributed and you know maybe 1000 years from now another person is born and this person maybe you know, carries one or two atoms inside of him or her that were once part of me. And the same thing is true for me. I probably have a lot of atoms inside of my body that have been inside of someone else's body a few thousand years ago or even a hundred thousand years ago. So if you look at it from that angle, Reincarnation is actually a real thing and it is nothing spiritual at all. It has nothing to do with religion or whatever. It's just from a, you know, physical standpoint, the building blocks of your body, when you die, they leave your body, they go back to nature and eventually you will find them in another body. And obviously in other things too, so you will find them in a tree, maybe in a rock, maybe, yeah, like everywhere. And at some point our whole planet is going to die, or maybe our planet collides with another planet or a large object in space and there's a big explosion and, you know, everything gets torn apart and our atoms and building blocks you know, get just thrown out into space and maybe one day a million light years away from us on a different planet with a different alien species or whatever, someone carries a tiny little atom inside of their alien body that once, you know, belonged to your body that's crazy and that's you know one of those things i think about every day <laughs> and that's why i cannot hold a normal conversation with a normal person anymore i'm just yeah i don't know i'm just done with all these earthly problems with all these tiny trivial human problems I'm just done with it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even care anymore. I I don't get it. And, you know, life is so short. And, you know, think about how unlikely it actually is to exist. And think about the odds that you are sitting here watching this video and you exist in your body, in your mind. That is actually so unlikely and you are so lucky to experience this because you know we don't know if consciousness happens all the time and if we are just one out of millions of other species that are similar to us or 
if the human brain is actually something special and maybe it was just a evolutionary mistake and we are more conscious than we actually should have been but whatever the case you are here in your brain on this planet you can think you can feel and that is amazing and you should enjoy every day actually and make the best of your time as long as you still can because you know this existence is actually a gift and you shouldn't take it for granted and unfortunately that's what most of the people do they complain about everything they're always unhappy always you know worried about some stupid bullshit never even realizing how lucky they are to be alive so yeah i think um, that's it for this video um yeah thank you very much for watching and oh um my new book my novella i met the devil at the crossroads is now officially released on amazon um, I still have a lot of copies here. Um, yeah, in case you didn't know, um, I wrote a book. Um, it's just a small 50 page story. Um, it's called I Met the Devil at the Crossroads. You can buy it now on Amazon um, in German and English. And if you want a signed copy, like these copies right here, um, you can just DM me on Instagram and I will sign it and ship it to you if that's what you want. And if you want to get it faster, then you can just order a copy on Amazon. And yeah, you can order it with Amazon Prime and you will get it in a few days because it will take some time if you want me to sign it and then ship it to you. But yeah, that's just another thing I wanted to add here. So yeah, thank you very much to all the people that have already ordered a copy. Um, I'm shipping some books next week. So if you're waiting on your signed copy, um, I try to ship it as fast as possible. And to all the people that bought one from Amazon, thank you very much. Um, yeah, and if you're still here and you watched this video till the end, then also <laughs> thank you very much. And yeah. I think I will see you in the next one. Bye.